Braves hosting the Reds. The Reds are plus 132 on the money line. The Braves are minus 156. The over-under is eight runs. The Reds getting a run and a half on the run line are minus 160, meaning if you bet them that way and they win this game outright, you win. They lose by one, you win. And the Braves laying a run and a half on the run line are plus 132, meaning if you bet them that way, they must win by two or more. Now, the weather for this game, this is another one of those games in game danger. 78 degrees, 5 mile an hour winds blowing out, and a 60% chance of rain. So it'll be delayed, if not postponed. And uh, yeah, they picked a great time to give the Braves a home a home streak where their games are just getting affected by weather. Green pitched once against the Braves last year. Six innings, three runs, three earned. They won that game. Uh, they lost that game five to four, and he struck out ten. Now Lopez pitched for three different teams three times against the Reds last year, for the White Sox, the Angels, and for the Braves. Each one of the games he pitched one inning. One inning, no runs, no earned. They won four three. He struck out one. That was with the Braves. One inning, no runs, no earned. They lost seven three. He struck out two. That was with the Angels. One inning, no runs, no earned. They won five four. That was in Cincinnati. He struck out one. That was with the White Sox. Head-to-head, -head, the Braves are 7-3. and three. The Braves are on a two-game winning streak. The road team's on a two-game winning streak. The home team is 5-5. Five and five. The favorite has won the last two games they played against each other. The favorite is 7-3 and three on the money line. The underdog getting a run and a half on the run line is 8-2. and two. There have been seven one-run games in their last ten meetings. The last seven games that they've played against each other have been one-run games. The over is hitting their last six. The over is 7-2-1. and one. And the over 8 is eight and two now this is provided that this game even happens because of the weather the reds are one and four in green's last five starts the under is three and two five and a third innings pitch 3.6 hits 1.6 earned runs 7.4 strikeouts 1.6 walks per game and it was 3.6 hits per game uh 0.4 home runs he gave up a home run in his last start 99 pitches per game 18.3 pitches per inning for the Braves, they're three and two in Lopez's last five starts. The unders hitting his last two. The under is three, one, and one. Five innings pitched, five point six hits, one point four earned runs, five strikeouts, two point four walks, point four home runs, ninety three pitches per game, eighteen pitches per inning. This should be a great pitcher's duel if this game happens. The Reds are on a four game losing streak: five runs, thirteen runs, nine runs, seven runs, two runs at a loss, five runs at a loss, four runs at a loss, two runs at a loss. The Braves are on a two-game losing streak, two and two in their last four. Nine runs, five runs, 14 runs, eight runs. Six runs and a win, three runs and a win, five runs and a loss, and then two runs and a loss. Braves with the money line, Braves laying the runs, and I'm going under. That's, again, provided that this game even happens. These are just my picks. If you disagree, please go with your gut, and please bet responsibly.